Well, regarding this guy, I don't know what to do. That's why I said he may not have even done it. It could have been a group of other people that did it just blamed me and made him a patsy. I'm not saying that's what happened. I don't know. I don't know. No, Stonewall Jackson was from this time period. You can't imagine how they twist that. He yeah. was shot by his own people, you know. They just, uh, around and said, you know. So Walter Jackson rode into his camp, and the guy, the little kid, said, stop. And he wouldn't stop, so he shot him. They were yeah. twisted that news around, though, upon this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Y'all right all right. know that I study history all the time. You, one of the things that, that uh, I get so cotton-picking upset about is the fact that you get about 15 different stories about everything. If you try to write serious history, then you've got to investigate all that stuff, try to come up with what really happened. And, and it's not easy. Uh, it, it's not simple and it's not easy. But the reason for it is you get a lot of different stories. Uh, the Bible itself, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, four accounts of Christ's crucifixion by four men that was in different places. It tells basically the same story. But they were in different places and they heard and saw different things. And if you read those four Gospels, you'll, you'll get four different uh, impressions of what happened that day. day. And, and the news is the same way. But while I'm uh, talking, uh, I've been a victim of this, uh, what you know about this, this law that they talk about passing. They don't need to pass that. When I was in, I've, I've told some of y'all this before, and it's true. And I don't know that I disagree with it. I was in the Berlin crisis over in, uh, in uh, Europe. And myself and uh, four boys from New Jersey got to, we got over there, found out it was nothing but politics and that the United States government had lied to the American people like you wouldn't believe. What? And there we were over there. I don't believe you. And uh, so we got to investigate, and we found some facts and things and tried to expose it, and we'd write back to Strom Thurmond and Hollins, and they'd send us these little pat letters back about what a good job you're doing, but would never address what we were. Anyway, the night that I started to come home, out there on the flight line, fixed to get on the airplane to come home in the middle of the night, 2 o'clock in the morning, and this little lieutenant, oh, well, a little sergeant comes out and said, they want to see you in the, over there. <laughs> In the um, hangar. So I go over there and it's uh, four, four boys from New Jersey's there. The four of us that have been, we troublemakers. Corey thinks he's a troublemaker. Uh, uh, they, the little lieutenant, the little lieutenant in there showed a piece of paper out and said, Sign this. We looked at it and it, it simply said, I will not divulge what I know about the Berlin crisis. That's all it said. But they wanted me to sign it, and these four boys too. We had a little conference, said no, we're not gonna sign that. We're gonna tell everybody what a waste of taxpayer money this has been, and it was all for politics. It had to do with Kennedy and De Gaulle, and it had nothing to do with the Berlin crisis. So the little lieutenant sits back over there. We told him, so we're not going to sign that. He sits back, I'll never forget it. Puts his hands crooked at him. Little skinny fellow with a big head. Said, I am instructed to tell you that unless you sign this paper, you will never see the United States again. Why well, you keep coming up with these conspiracies? Yeah, uh, I experienced it. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a normal debriefing to me. We we were in the corner again, and we talked. We said, "Hey, this fool ain't kid. And uh, what are we gonna do? Cross your fingers and sign the papers. We all had families and all, but we were National Guard troops. We had families and everything back here. So we, well, we'll sign it. We get back, we're gonna tell everybody anyway. <laughs> so we go over there and we sign these papers. And we go ahead and get on the plane. That's it. That's all they wanted. And I, we had some contacts in Washington at the time that kept us abreast of one thing and another. They kept a CIA file on the four, on the five of us, for ten years in Washington. And those papers, that paper was in it. They were watching us. But hey, this story was so fantastic. I won't even tell it to you today because you think I'm crazy. You already think that. <laughs> so I mean, I'm crazy if I told you the real story of what what was going on. So we got back. We tried to tell people, and they they shun you. They just get away from it. They wouldn't even talk to you. They want they want to hear. It. Mm -hmm. 
So we shut up and went on about our lives. But the United States, my point is, the government will do whatever it sees fit to do to protect itself with or without a law. Don't you ever think they won't. Well, we